Hi everyone, my name is Claudia and I'm here with TV Stuff Reviews and today I'm going to be reviewing the Tech Visor. We're gonna go in my car and see how it works. So it definitely blocks out the sun. Not a fan of it. So not a huge fan of that because literally right now I'm like blinded. The sun coming from the side window bothers me a lot more than the sun coming from the front window. Okay, so it is now nighttime and I'm about to test my tack visor at night. It doesn't really seem necessary. It makes you feel like you can't like look away from it, which I find a lot more dangerous. Like I feel like I have to stare right into the tack visor. So Tech Visor is a Bell Howell product and it's an alternative to your car visor. The claims on their box are as follows. It enhances colors, blocks blinding glare, improves optical clarity, and has light filtering technology. This is what it looks like in the original packaging. And we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Okay, so this is my Tech Visor. It's a pretty sturdy piece of plastic, which is nice. Um, it can also be installed into any car. You don't need to purchase anything extra. You can just slide this on. We're gonna go in my car and see how it works. But this basically just slides on like where your regular car visor is. And then you can easily flip this up and down. Um, it also came with instructions, which we will read together. And then it also came with a lens tester card. Um, it says, wear tack glasses to see the magic. So we'll go ahead and see what that does. Position the car visor in the up position where it lays flat against the roof of your car. Slide the tack visor's clip onto the car visor in the direction away from the windshield until it's snug. And then installation is complete. Just peel off the protective films from both sides of the lenses. So this does come with a protective film on it that we will peel off once it is installed. Test card, it says lens tester card. So this is what this little lens tester card looks like without the tack visor. And then with it, it's really hard to tell with the camera, but you can see like colors, which is really cool. Without, with. So it definitely blocks out the sun. I really am not a fan of how close it is to my face. Like, it, I don't know, it's just like it's a little unnerving how close it is. It's just a little too close for comfort. I feel like I'm looking at like a video. It just doesn't feel like it's real because it's so close to me and it just makes me a little uncomfortable. This is driving without the tack visor. This is driving with. You can just see that the colors are like a little bit more vivid, but again, it's just like here, with, without. Um, it's just, it's so close to my face. It just makes me very uncomfortable. It just doesn't feel like I'm, I don't know. I really am not a fan so far. So I'm basically driving right into the sun right now. It's really uncomfortable without any sort of visor or sunglasses. But if I put down, oops, but if I put down my tack visor, I'm able to open my eyes pretty fully and I can see very clearly. It definitely gets rid of the glare. It, I feel like I can't look over there. Like I feel like I have to stare right into the tack visor and like I feel like my peripheral vision is kind of cut off and it just makes me as a driver feel very uncomfortable. I also am a person when I drive I like to like move around and I like check my blind spot so like I feel like if I move too close it's I'm gonna like hit it and it just I, I'm not a fan of it. Also something that I'm not a huge fan of is I hate when the sun is like hitting me from the side. Like I think that bothers me more than the front does and there's no way to like turn it like a regular car visor. You know what I mean? Like a car visor you can flip down and like open it up to open that and like that block and I love that. Also there's the little slit between where it attaches to the car visor and like where this thing starts where the sun can like literally get right in my eyes. 
So the more I use this, the more I realize that it's not worth it and, you know, not that effective. Because literally right now, I'm like blinded. Later. Okay, so it is now nighttime and I'm about to test my tack visor at night. This is it without the tack visor and this is it with. So everything just kind of looks a lot more yellow and that just looks a lot more blue. So we're just going to drive around and I'll give my opinion on how it works. So initial thoughts, um, it doesn't really seem necessary. I'm currently not on a street that has like a lot of street light. That's it with the tack visor and that's it without. So it really doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, yeah, because the lights are still pretty bright. It's not like it really dims them. So overall, I'm going to have to give the tack visor a two out of five stars. The claims on the product are true. Like it does really block out the sun and it does dim street lights at night a little bit, but it doesn't do it enough to the point where I would want to actually use this product on a regular basis. That is going to be all I have for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to see more reviews on As Seen on TV products. Also make sure you check out tvstuffreviews.com for more products and reviews. You can follow me personally at ThatGirlClaws on all of my social media. It is always linked in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon for another review. Bye!